Thanks for joining us on the John Madola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk United States field hockey team. Kelsey Cole and Jacek joining us right now. Well, Kelsey, uh, always a great time for you, uh, but, boy, there's a whole lot of hard work talking to Cat Sharkey. Uh, you ladies are working awfully hard for the United States of America. Yep, we are. It's been a you know long three years, but uh, we're ready to get going, and we're excited to head down to Rio. Let's talk a little bit about uh, that offense you have, and uh, you and Kat, uh, a couple of those forwards, and uh, there's some other talent there on that United States team as well. Yeah, um, it's been really awesome. I mean, obviously me and Kat have had a little longer, you know, since we went to high school together on the connections on the offensive point, but um, just working with uh, Paige and Jill and Odie has just been really exciting, and the other midfielders um, were just We've been working really hard on our skills, and then we've also been really working on our connections with our all of our speed up front. So just putting all the pieces together, I think, will be um, really exciting for us for when we actually get down there. What's it like to have a career that you've had here, uh, basically as an athlete, um, uh, to pretty much uh, wake up and know what you're doing is for athletic purposes, and uh, you get to do something that you love to do, but at the same time, uh, you got to approach it like a job. Yeah, it's that's it's like kind of funny that you have to consider it as a job because we are doing this for a living. But to be able to do it as like this has been a dream of mine since I was probably a baby, and to actually be living in it, you know, during those tough weeks, it kind of gets hard, and you're like, oh, what am I thinking? What am I doing? But then you look back and you like see the light at the end, and you're like, this is exactly what I'm putting all that effort in and hard work in is to get that goal of having the potential chance of meddling at the Olympics. So you just get your priorities straightened, and, um, you know, it just, like, makes you work even harder. So it's been really fun. What a field hockey player you were in high school, uh, and then uh, over at North Carolina, uh, incredible job and, and all the accolades you received there. Uh, but I think you found even another level here uh, with the United States field hockey team. Talk about just growing as a player and learning so much more and developing uh, to to basically be the best in the world. I mean, it's the biggest honor to represent your country. So I've obviously had great coaches since high school with uh, Karen Klasner and then at UNC with Karen Shelton. And they've been able to push me really hard and help me on this goal to become uh, the best U.S. player that I can. So without them, it would be really difficult to just, like, grow, you know, character-wise and just with confidence on the field and just um, putting all those aspects together. So now having um, this great coaching staff on the U.S. team, they just put all the small little tweaks that I needed to work on and gradually throughout the three years to help me be at my absolute best for when I had to take the stage at the Olympics. So it's been a really fun journey, and I'm just looking forward to seeing where it'll take us. Kelsey, that maturity that you've had, and uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing knowing you for all these years and, and covering you in high school and in college and, and now with the, the Olympic team. Uh, talk about that, that maturation process for yourself, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, your family deserves a lot of credit for that. Oh, yeah. My family has been through it all with me and have been really motivating me because there have been times, you know, where I hit some, like, injuries or just, like, upset of not getting selected for something, and I would want to give up, but that was the number one rule in our family to, like, never give up, never quit on your goals. So without them, I honestly don't think I would be here, and it's been an amazing journey with them, and I have to, I couldn't thank them enough for what they've been helping me push me through because... Sometimes it's hard to just find that motivation within you. So when you have great family and friends and coaching staff that really just, like, get within you and, you know, just help motivate and give you the confidence that you need at those difficult times, I've been have, I've been really lucky to have every single, you know, person around me be there with the best support. So I wouldn't be here without any of them. Kelsey Kohler, Jacek, talking to us here as she gets ready for Rio 2016 on the John Mandola Show. Uh, Kels, uh, how about learning something about yourself? And I'm sure there's numerous things you have, but uh, you know, going through this field hockey training, whether it's you have to do a, you know, a mile in a certain amount of time, or whether you've got to eat certain type of foods to make sure you're replenishing your body properly, tell us a couple highlights there uh, in what you've done here with this training. 
Um, definitely uh, nutrition and fitness were probably the two like most difficult cross like things to go through during this process. So just being smarter about your decisions. We kind of have this like ninety percent, ten percent rule. So throughout the week, you want to have like ninety percent healthy choices. You know, you're getting the proper protein is number one. Like you need as much protein as possible. Then you have your carbs and your fats and you get that 10% of, like, if you need to have, like, a little cheap meal, that it's okay. You just don't want to overindulge. So really having to focus in on that 90-10% uh, has been difficult. But you can see the results, like, throughout the couple years that I have definitely improved on that. And then the other one was just our speed conditioning. There are times where we do, like, two sets before practice, and you'll, all of us will be, like, laying on the ground afterwards because it's that difficult. So when your body just, like, doesn't think that you have to get on the line and you hear the whistle, that you're just like, no, I don't actually want to go. But your body just naturally does it, and you just, like, push through it and you make your time, even when you just want to stop. Those have been the toughest ones, but have been helping us become the number one uh, fit. Like, we are the fittest team in the world, which is, like, an amazing thing to say, but it ha it's all due because we don't stop. You just keep going to the line every time you hear that whistle, and we just don't quit. Saying you're the fittest team in the world, that was something I think Kat kind of got into as well. Uh, going out there and, and trying to prove it against the best in the world. Talk about uh, the skill set and, and what it's like with some of the styles of the different teams that you're going to be facing. Yeah, it's it's always different against certain teams. Um, one that I always notice, um, when we play New Zealand, they're very similar with us, but they're like, we're very good at counterattacks, which also like can show if you're fit or not because it ends up kind of turning into a track beat when you're going back and forth on counterattacks. So that's like a team that you always see like that is really trying to match up well with our fitness. But then there's other times you'll start noticing teams will like drop back within their like 50 yards, even in their half because they can't keep up with our, like if our fitness is just starting to overrun them, they have to drop back and try to take like a breather. So we know we're doing our job when teams do that. Or if they just start falling apart when we just, like, spread them. Um, I thought it was really exciting to see that. I think in the Champions Trophy game, the final against Australia, the last five minutes, I think they were just scared that, honestly, we were starting to, like, run them around because they couldn't keep up with us. So it's those type of games when it's, like, the fifth, sixth game in a big tournament that I think you really notice where our fitness um, lies. Sometimes during the first couple, people still can match up, but throughout a tournament that's where we really notice is toward those end games that we like can't stop which is really exciting Kelsey you talk about that fitness and and all the different things you do and having a couple practices some days and and having a six day a week schedule and and being able to go at it and, and break things down on film and stuff like that uh, talk about some of the the most challenging things you've done physically and, and maybe it, it you know maybe it was just something really different there with the United States field hockey team um, yeah, I think what's really challenging is that on Mondays we lift in the morning, then we have practice in the afternoon, and every single Monday is a really heavy lift. And sometimes we question that because it, like, literally drains us. Like, it kills us for the next practice. And, like, all the way throughout the week, so we're always like, why do we do this now when we could probably do this lift on Friday and feel a little more fresh throughout the week? But we push through that, and so when we are playing – and we just learn how to play fatigued and we're just like we keep doing that conditioning and those runs and our really tight and tough scrimmages playing fatigue so when we actually feel fresh it feels amazing and we just feel like we can't stop running so those are the things I get like I question at the time but then you see the results when we're on the field and then just when we have our double sessions um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll add uh, conditioning on both days when it comes closer to tournament time. So those are the ones where we're like, oh, boy, here it goes. And, you know, it gets pretty tough, especially before um, the hard training session. But we just have to try. At the time, it's hard to think positive, but we know what that end result can be like if we really push it. So that's where we all just, like, stick together, and we know to, like, keep motivating each other because we want that result, which is getting on the podium. Kelsey, take us through what it's like for Paige Zielinski uh, being an alternate. Um, and, you know, she was uh, <laughs> she's as fit as anybody on any given day in the world um, going back to last year with the, the whole magazine thing. Uh, tell us about how Paige is doing. <laughs> 
She's doing well. She obviously had a really um, unfortunate hamstring injury, and that just set her back. And I give her all the credit in the world. She, once she could, like, finally, like, start the rehab process, she was working day and night to just work as hard as possible to get back and get back in shape, get back. Like, I mean, she didn't lose it, honestly. She still looks great. But, like, just the fitness levels, you know, she was doing two times a day, three times a day with rehab and, you know, her conditioning. So the fact that she was able to land a spot um, was incredible. And I, I'm i just really proud of how she handled everything. And um, I'm just really excited that she was uh, picked as an alternate going through a really tough injury that some would have just gave up years ago. Well, Paige Zielinski, uh, as you say, uh, one of the toughest around, and three young ladies from northeastern Pennsylvania uh, representing the United States. Kelsey, always great to talk to you. Your energy is always phenomenal, and uh, we are rooting for you here uh, August Rio 2016. Go get them, okay? Thank you. Kelsey Kolajacic from the United States field hockey team here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.